welcome back to Mommy Hates Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy air fryer butternut squash. You can make this in the Ninja Foodie too. It's a great way to make a quick side dish and it tastes great. This is the perfect fall or winter side dish. So the first thing you're going to need are a few ingredients. You'll need a medium to large butternut squash. You'll want about four cups when it's cubed grapeseed oil spray, and then ground cinnamon. So this is all you're going to need. The longest part of this whole process is just prepping the butternut squash and getting it cut. So you'll also wanna get a very sharp knife so that you can get through that skin of the butternut squash. So that is the first thing we're going to do is cut and slice it. So I usually cut it the ends off and then I slice it in half. And then I just carefully slice off the outer layer there and then you can go ahead and cut it in half again and then slice or cube it as easiest, the easiest way that you feel is possible. It's really not gonna matter if it's in perfect cubes or slices, it's totally up to you. So that is what I am doing here. And again, you wanna use a very sharp knife. So I'm trying to get this off of here and then we're gonna keep slicing it. And I usually slice it like this, and then I will cut it down into smaller cubes after I get done here. So this is going to be by far the longest process. And again, you just wanna get about four cups. That's what this will be for, because you wanna evenly be able to place it into the air fryer basket. You can use the Ninja Foodie, which if you use the Ninja Foodie, you'd be doing the air crisp function. So you'd wanna be sure whichever Ninja Foodie you have has that air crisp on it. Um, that is going to be the air fryer for this. So once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and put it into the basket of the air fryer. Now I have coated this basket with some grapeseed oil spray and then I'm gonna to top it with cinnamon, the squash, and then I'm gonna add another layer of the grapeseed oil spray just right on top there. This helps it get crispy um, and also helps it not dry out too quickly. So that is what I'm doing here. And then I go ahead and air fry this at 390 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Now after 10 minutes, I will use a spoon or you can shake the basket depending on what kind of air fryer you have and just shake it up. And then I like to coat it again with some more spray at that point. So that would be after about 10 minutes. And then if this is your first time making it, be sure to check on it around 15 minutes since all air fryers tend to heat a little bit differently. So I have it all done after 20 minutes and then this is what mine looks like whenever it's all done. It's nice and crispy on the outside but soft on the inside. And then we served this with air fryer country style ribs which I'll link to those as well at the end of this video. Um, it worked out perfectly. It was a great meal and super quick and easy to make. So this is what it's going to look like all plated and ready to go. Now you can find this air fryer recipe over on airfryerfanatics.com. And then I also do several air fryer recipes over on mommyhatescooking.com. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this quick and easy side dish for air fryer butternut squash. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video so that you do not miss the next recipe. Thanks so much for tuning in today.